Let me tell you a story about the biggest Pan African ever lived. His name is Wodemaya, who was born in Ahekofi, Ghana, where he grew up with his parents. The popular YouTuber is known from a wealthy background. As a kid, Maya did odd jobs to make ends meet. Nevertheless, the Ghanaian vlogger is proud of his family. After completing his secondary school education, Wodemaya left Ghana in 2012 to further his education in China. Initially, he was billed to study in the UK after getting a scholarship. However, this would not come to reality as he was denied a visa to the UK. Out of shame, the young man left for China. He was admitted into Shenyang Aerospace University to study aeronautical engineering. Wodemaya joined YouTube on January 10, 2013. His real name is Bathold Winkler. Mr. Ghana Baby, as he is also known professionally, visits multiple African countries vlogging about his travel experiences, the country's culture and social scene, garnering him mainstream media attention, taking Africa to the world and mainly changing the negative narrative of Africa. I am Maya. Papa, I want to be like Ode Maya. That was really a legendary tribute by Africana kids in Uganda, and it feels so special to be celebrated whilst alive. You know what? It's a road to a million, and I feel like it's time for me to come in here and tell you more about myself. My name is Wadamaya. That's what you all know, but Wadamaya is not my real name. My real name is Kobina Akon, born and raised in Ghana. You know what? A lot of people know my story, but I feel like if I don't tell you my real story, you all will misinterpret me. That is why I decided to bring this episode, Road to a Million. Road to a Million, it's all about sharing my story of how it all started from being born and raised in Ghana, went to school in China, and came back to Africa. So it's more like a triangle series that I'm bringing until we reach a million. But if we can reach a million, it depends on each and every one of you. You know what? I've been telling you guys that it's by force, but this time around, I'm not going to say it's by force because I need each and every one of you to support this whole movement. It's more like a movement. Road to a million is a movement. So first of all, I'm going to plead with all content creators that watch my video, please do me a favor. In every video that you're going to do, please give me a shout out. I'm requesting for this. Just give me a shout out and let's hit a million. And if you're out there and you're a big fan, a loyal fan of what Maya, you know how we do it. Support the movement. I mean, we are over 920,000 people, so which means that if each and every one of you tell your family and friends that, hey, there is this annoying village boy on YouTube that you all need to subscribe to, definitely we're going to get to a million. So please, I'm pleading with you all, go tell your friends and family to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know you all are peeping my t-shirt out. Yes, this t-shirt is part of the movement. Road to a million t-shirt. And please do me a favor. The link will be in the description. Buy one and get one free. But don't tell anybody that I told you that it's buy one, get one free. Please, it's not buy one, get one free. Oh. You just buy one and buy more for your friends and family. Thank you so much because I believe that if you wear this t-shirt in the street of wherever you are, definitely people are going to ask questions. And that question will be like, who is Wadamaya? And you will tell them that. Go to YouTube, check out Wadamaya, and make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. But hey, this series is going to be on your screen every Sunday. The first episode is about how it all started for me. And the next one, I know and believe that I'll take you guys to China. And I know and believe that after this whole series about Road to a Million, you get to know my story, you get to know who I am, and definitely you get to know what I really represent. And finally, you definitely know where I'm coming from. Come with me as I take you to my village. Thank you. Subscribe and be part of this awesome family. I love and I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Africa, our land, Africa, our home, Africa, our pride. Cairo, Senegal to Somalia, Odemaya, shows Africa, yeah. Nana, 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 Nana,
representing the media what the Maya in Africa What the Maya My name is Sarah Kiola. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber and I'm currently in the oil city of Ghana. So in case you don't know, Ghana is not just Accra. There's also Takaradi and this is the oil city. In case you're wondering what I'm doing here, I used to be a YouTuber in China and that's how I got to know about Wodemaya. And I came all the way from Nigeria to Ghana just to know about the story of Wodemaya. So he's going to be taking us along through the whole journey of how he all started and you guys are going to be going along on that journey with me. So I'm just going to hop on the ride right now and we're going to go and meet with my ass. So. How are you doing? I'm you fine. Finally here? Yes, I'm finally here. So the driver said I'm close to Ahin Kofi. Ahin Kofi. So can you please give me directions? Okay, so tell the driver to take you to St. John's Anglican Primary School. Okay. After you get there, just get down, yeah? And um, I'll show you where to go next. Alright, no problem. I'll call you when I'm there. Alright, cool. Okay. See you soon. So he said St. John's Anglican Primary School. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. once he said once I get there, I should just get down. So hopefully, I'll see him when I get there. Sure. So just let me know when we get to St. John's because he said when I once we get there I should drop. Okay. Yeah. So you get down? Yeah, okay. Hello? You've arrived already? Yes, I have. That was fast. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, okay, I can see you from my house, yeah? Alright. You cross the road, go straight, you see a tiny bridge, make sure you don't fall inside the river. <laughs> Alright, I'll try. All right. See you soon. Okay, see you soon. Good to see you. Oh too. my God! Finally, I'm Thank here. You. Welcome to my humble village. Thank you. The female version of Wadamaya in China. Yes. Ni hao. Ni hao, man. <laughs> Your Chinese sucks, you know. Yeah. But yeah, welcome. Thank you. What brought you to my village, man? You, oh. you came all the way to my village. Yes, I did. I really? came to see and learn how it is. 
how how you got here how i got here like yes. how I'm, I'm here now so you tell me how it was getting to where you are now where it started from let me be clear where it started from when i got to china mm -hmm. they gave me the name wadamaya no when did, I was did it start from china no it started from here oh okay but not here I mean, this is where I live right now. Okay. But I have to take you to where I was born, where I was raised before I went to China. I would love to see that. You want to see that? I want to see that. I want to learn all about. I take you to where I was born. Okay. My mom is around, yeah? Oh, okay. You know, my channel is all about, all about my mom. So yeah. let me let you meet my mom before we go. Is all right, okay? I would love to see her, of course. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it is like. So, no. Do you remember her? Yeah, from your videos, from I remember her. Videos? Yes. Oh, okay. oh you are. In Nigeria, I thought they said. Good day, man. The girls about then the guys <laughs> bend. That's, that's, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah, the guys do this. Okay, then what the about girls, women? We go down. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, that's that's what I'm what I'm so she came to see me and I wanted to see her for the first time. Oh, ah, okay. Yes, ma. Right. Welcome. Thank you, ma. Alright, so I'm Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> so that's what am I? Yeah. <laughs> mom, I'm Sarah. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so now you've met my mom. I want to take you to where I was born, yeah? All right. All right, so let's go. That's right. I'll be back, yeah? <laughs> Sarah, welcome to my humble beginning. Okay. This is where it all started. Hmm. So you're telling me that a whole Wodemaya, 900k plus. What are you saying? Stand here. <laughs> I grew up from here. I was born here. I was raised in here. Wow. So where was your room? Come with me. Okay. Hmm. So you see this room right here? Mm -hmm. This is where it all started. Okay. I was born in this room. I mean, with um, five siblings. Okay. So Are you the first? Or? No, I'm not the first one. I'm the third born. Oh, okay. And together with my parents, we were seven in Norma, right? But um, five of us would be in one room. And I used to be, you know, I urinate a lot you know, when I was growing <laughs> up. So I urinate and then I wake up early morning and I, they don't know who urinated. I'm sure it was hell for your siblings. Nah, yeah, because by the time they realize, I've already changed my clothes. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So where was like your kitchen, bathroom? Was it all inside here? We don't have bathroom in here. Oh, okay. You know, the first time I used water closet, I was shocked, man. <laughs> because we used to, I mean, let me let me tell you this one. Okay. This right here is our bathroom. This was our bathroom. This is where we take shower. But I mean, growing up, I used to stand outside to shower. <laughs> Come, I'm going to show you another thing too. All right. Right here, you see it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see this from here. No. Mm -hmm. We can't see it. Okay. But you see the yellow house over there? Yeah, I can see that. That was where the public toilet is. Wow. So, you know. So, if you want to use the toilet, you have to go all the way I there. Have to go all the way. So, imagine <laughs> it's close. You have to hold your ass and start running. All the way there. there. That's, that's yeah. how it is okay. in here. You know? Oh. So where was the kitchen? The kitchen. I don't know how to cook though, but uh, mm. my mom had a kitchen. So that is the kitchen right there. That's my mom's kitchen. And my mom used to sell kenki. Okay, what's that? You know kenki, it's a staple food in Ghana. So mm -hmm. my mom used to sell kenki. So I used to sell the kenki in the evening. You know, I go around and go search for people to buy the kenke from us. Mm. My senior brother used to sell in the morning, mm. but I have another brother who is so shy, but he always stay here to sell it in the house. Right? Oh, okay. So that's how it is here. So this was the normal you knew. What was it like growing up, he growing up here? I'm so glad you said the normal that I knew. Yeah. Because I was born here, this is home for me. I thought the entire world looks like my home. Until, Until you stepped I out. Stepped out. So okay. it, it, it was normal for me to the extent that 
Five of us used to use um, one toothbrush. That's crazy. She's saying it's crazy. <laughs> no, it was not five crazy. of you five, used five one toothbrush. I mean, I, I was used to it. I will just okay. wait for my brother to finish. And then I he gives it, you. And then I, I give it to my sister. But do you do that now? <laughs> oh, now? I think I have more than six toothbrushes. Oh. <laughs> one person. And yeah. uh, apart from that, if you think you don't want to use that, we had a chewing stick okay. that I, I used to use. And um, there's another one called sponge. Oh. Did you try the charcoal one before? No, I haven't tried it. Oh, I've tried the chewing the stick. It's whitening. Those days we used to use charcoal and so then plantain. Said and then you start brushing your teeth. Wow, interesting. So how was the transition, like transitioning from here to China? It was very challenging because the first time I even left here, I went to Accra in the year 2012. That was when I was actually applying for my visa because oh, okay. I was not that guy who normally travels. I didn't know anywhere. So now, that was the first time you left I this left place? I left this village. That was wow. when I was applying for my visa. Okay. So imagine living from here to Accra to China was a whole different world for me. Because oh. I'm coming from here, so I thought the whole world looks like this. So the difference was a lot. It's a lot. I mean, I don't even want to talk about that right <laughs> now. But yeah, this is all. This is how it all started. And um, I mean, we've come a long way. You don't think so? Yes, you have. You've come a really long way. And it's interesting to see how you started. From That's why I normally say, if you don't know me, don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Yeah. You still have more questions for me? Yes, I do. Sit down and ask me I'm the sure. question. That I hope you don't mind. No, I, since you're coming from China. I don't hey. mind. <laughs> hey, I'm scared. Of... Hey. Okay, so I'm sure you made friends while you were here. Of course, you made friends. I grew up here, definitely. I had yes, childhood sir. friends. Are you still friends with those people? Of course, we're still friends, you know, and they are still around. I would love to meet them. You would love to meet them. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few of them, maybe one, two. I think I'll you take you to one of them. Okay. And then later, maybe I'll take you to. I mean, people don't believe that I was a good football player. <laughs> I mean, right now, people are laughing at me. But in this village, I was the number one striker. Number one. So I have to take you to my coach first. We, ha we have to meet, we meet my friend. To confirm. <laughs> we, I, I need to give, confirm from give, him. Give me. Hey. <laughs> see. Hey. <laughs> you you didn't play like the number <laughs> one. <laughs> you didn't play like no, the number I, one I was striker. Number one striker. So I'll take you to meet my coach. Okay. And then after that, I will definitely um, take you to meet my friend. All right. No All right let's go. You're good, eh? Mm -hmm. So, like I was saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah? This guy right here was my childhood coach. Yeah. Okay. See that man? Yeah. See, when Jimmy did a Mbobolo... Are you a good player? 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 So, no, 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 DJ Bobo. That's it. That's my last day of the day. And the joke. And the joke. That's my coach. Man. Cinema and this, this guy right here was our main coach. Main player. Man. Our main coach. I'm a ball and cassan 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 cassan. Yeah. Cinema. Can we be chowing? I'm all over. I'm a master. Uh huh. Go to Pabiara, but then there are two to buy it. Oh, the old Captain Kuku, I'm copy. We were second here. Go keep a bench in panic. Go keep a bench in panic. See, I'm not for the minion, I'm better than no. Yeah, you play, you play. You play, you play. You play, you play. That's why I'm saying, oh, dear Bobo. I'm not going to play a copy. 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 That's why. Mambo Bobby. No, Def yeah, why we can go school. No, go school. Even to cry, I don't even answer. Even to today. And still cry. It's meet the pain, the me pain. No. Because because that the master is seen one guy will be so born for the name. I can't even match him. Hey, 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 This guy will be will be edge of crazy. Okobu, okobu, asam okobu, boy na okobu me name me name. Ah, okay. 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 Easy. So today, oh, 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 I mean, so many people don't believe that I was a good football player. Yeah, but your coach just proved he it. He just confirmed it. He just confirmed. And I believe that my childhood friend was also going to confirm it. Oh, he used to play with you too? Of course. You know, I was a striker for the whole team. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. I beg, I 
Avec, avec. Charlie. Long time. Long time, man. Hey, Charlie, how be business, man? I say cool, business. See that man? Everything cool. Abutola. So this is Abek. Abeka. He used to be the youngest in the whole. I mean, in terms of our friendship. Okay. He was the youngest, and he's the one who always cry anytime we lose a game. Is that true? True, yeah, true or false? True. True. I was a striker. Believe me. And anytime we lose, he will cry. He will cry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna cry anymore. No, no, no. Not no, again. No, no, I'm grown up. <laughs> so yeah, uh, do you have any question for him? Yeah, of course I have questions for him. You know, so you grew up with Wodemaya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But this is only your one Demaya. Then they had a friend by Kobe. Oh. Yeah, Kobe, Kobe. Betwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, Beto is actually my real name, yeah. Yeah. Okay. but nickname was Bebeto. Bebeto, yeah. it's true, it's true. Why, why did they call him Bebeto? Why? Ask him now. Why did they call him Bebeto? No, Bear Striker. Ah, Bear ah, Striker. Ah, ah, ah. Bear Striker. See, I didn't tell him all. No, <laughs> Bear Striker. Yeah, he said it all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know who. Ah. Best striker. Best striker. Oh, in a coffee. In a, oh, thank God. Best thank striker. God. In the whole life. Nobody matters. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Mm. Okay. The next question. That's nice. Okay. So, um, what was it like growing up with Kodemaya? Mm, okay. Mm. The Beto. Mm, Beto was cool. And I think, uh, no, I just know I didn't be brave. Oh, dim be brave. What for a lot in? What for in Zimbabwe be brave? No, easy. I think na the my mum pull no turn in crowd a kunazi. Oh, I'm poor. Muko fi o na the my muko soma musu me yaden me eke kremizi. No, easy. No, easy. No, easy. I think the ah uh, yami aye yami na waye because baby si si we do no oh yami. Because Moshe is suffering now. Mr. Tino, I don't know what No, I just know it No, I didn't. No, it's in the brain. No, it's in the brain. But as I say, I know. I'm there. I'm coping. No, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't know. I'm going to be able to cry. I'm going to be able to cry. I'm going to no, you're good. No, you're good, but but since I know, uh, on who be, mm-hmm, on who be. Yeah, na ye do want bobo pa, then you papa, we wo, we wo ako because na papa ni ye ni papa, eh, ni tsi mi ye. Hmm, yeah. Me kere na, eh, na 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 ya papa na papa. Yeah, no, pero obo ni mo connection. Yeah, it's true. It's true. The struggle was really real. The struggle never stopped there. The struggle actually followed me to school. I mean, I attended one of the best primary and junior high school in Ghana. I mean, if you living in Western region, you definitely know that West Street Primary and Junior High School was one of the best those days. But that was not my initial school. My previous school, apparently, my father said that no one can actually compete with my son. So I need to take him to the best school. I mean, that time, things were okay for my dad and everything just went from 100 to zero and that is where i found myself in a rich school as a poor boy man it, it, it was really tough and i know and believe that i cannot tell you this story by myself and there was this friend who was actually going through the same struggle and i think we recorded this video two years ago hey sunny mohammed come closer come closer come closer come closer come closer Good to see you, man. You, know, you make fun boy. Come on, you make fun boy. You, you, you where you don't get food chop. Where you make fun boy like that? <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. Eh? He doesn't even have food to eat. Look at him now, man. Hey, this is this is this is dope, man. Man, good to see you again. No, tell them your name. They don't know you. They know who you are, man. Who are you, man? My name is Sunny Mohammed. Um, coming from Germany, Berlin, and. Um, I just came to Ghana to visit my families and friends, you know, it's been long yeah. that we see each other. So I decided to just come back home to see and say hello to them, you know. And yeah. funny enough, I met this Beto Akun, <laughs> a.k.a. 
What the Maya? <laughs> they don't know my real name, man. You have mentioned my real name, man. I am Maya. L let's share this story with people. My mom used to sell kinky. What about you? Yeah, my mom used to sell wachi, that was rice and beans. I was tired of eating <laughs> kinky in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. What about you? Yeah, I see my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Always watching. Always, always watching. Uh, so, so what do we do? What do we do when we come to school? Yeah, always when you come to school, you need just you just have to just come to you and ask your boy, we need to change food because I'm tired of eating my mother's <laughs> watching. You know what I mean? I just need to eat something different, not Dear always right. eating uh, watching. You know what I mean? Because we are not like the other students. You know, when yeah, I exactly. come to school, there's the money is not there. And the money is not there. So that is what that the watch is our our money. The watch is our food and everything. You know what I mean? So we need to carry the watch from the house and bring it to school when it's big time. Then we, we find some place to swap the swap food. the food. You understand? Even if you're not going to wash the hands, you're just going to go <laughs> direct start to eat. You know what I mean? Yeah, for so many years. For so many the money wasn't there. there for us to live like the others, you know? Okay, those of you who doesn't know, I used to sell Kenke at night, you know, you go to Kenke, two city, two city. You know, you sell the Kenke and the following morning you wake up and go to school. But shout out to my senior brother, man. I really respect you a lot because he was selling the Kenke in the morning. He was a St. John's student. He yeah. was in senior high school, but he has to sell the Kenke in the morning before he goes to school. So shout out to you, Emmanuel. Hey, for you know what? Let me tell you something. I remember there is this day I won an award, yeah. and I was the first person who won the award in this school so they wanted to uh, motivate the entire student that hey this award is really real so most of you can partake in the award so that you can also win and then it was an assembly like the whole students were there and the teachers mentioned my name hey Beto Dakon you won the award come and collect your award bro that time I was walking from the house I came to school late I was sweating and you know my uniform Man, I don't want to remember this. I, the uniform that I'm wearing, you can see my ass through the uniform because I'm wearing a torn uniform, both the top and the down. You can see my ass, man. So when they mentioned my name, I was wearing slippers. I was holding my polythene bag. You know, that's, where, that's what I put my books inside. And they called my name to come for the award. And you know what? I don't know. Were you there? Yeah. What happened that day? Man, it was crazy. <laughs> You know, all today, the teachers and all the students, everybody started laughing. laughing. Ba, 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 everybody, ba, 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 ba. everybody started laughing at me. Even the teachers said, "We are no longer going to give you the award, man." Like, they refused to give me the award at assembly hall. They, they gave me to me in my classroom because my uniform was torn, and um, they don't want me to um, bring a torn uniform to take pictures that I was the one who won the award. So, Knowing the struggle that I went through, I know and believe that there are kids in this school that are actually going through what I went through and I don't think it's a good thing. So, I mean, coming back to the school in a way of giving back, I decided to identify less privileged kids in this school. So I wanted to buy them uniforms, but I was informed by the head master that the school already, the government is already doing that. So I told them that, hey, way back in school, I never had a school bag. So what I did was, identify kids who don't have school bags, went to a shop to shop for bags for them. And it, it makes me feel happy. And even though I couldn't do a lot, but I know and believe that in future, I'll be doing more than this because I don't want people to go through what I went through. Yeah, it's, it's a way of, I mean, building you, but it's also not um, a good struggle for real. Um, from there, I went to Bompersinia High School. I think that is where I really discovered myself thanks to Mr. Joseph Keta who saw me and realized that I had potential and he decided to groom me to become who I am today because that school was not my first choice. I was not a happy student when I was there but Mr. Keta told me one thing and that is what I'm living my life on. He told me that it doesn't matter where you find yourself but what matters is what is within you. A big shout out to all my classmates um, in Bompesina High School. A big shout out to all my teachers who, I mean, discovered and um, decided to, I mean, embrace and teach us to become who we are today. For me, I respect teachers a lot because without teachers, there won't be a president. Without teachers, there won't be, I mean, the future leaders that we have today. So yeah, 
attended Bompe Senior High and um, this is the end of my story and um, I know that I will take you to China in the next story. Don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe and be part of the awesome family. Road to a Million is on and subscribe and be part of the Million family. Thank you.